How you doing, Fox? Yes, it's me. I have come back from the dead. That's the back end of 2022. Uh, personally, it wasn't a good good year for me. Um, but thank God, with family support, friend support, and the community support, the Arsenal community support, I managed to get through tough times. So, I have been very quiet, but <clears throat> I'm back. So I'd like to say to all the ladies and gentlemen out there, that uh, a big, a big sorry, a big apology for not as uploading over the last few months. As I say, I had reasons, but uh, those reasons now I'm at overcoming them, thank God. And here I am, back doing what I, say, what I love doing. And uh, yeah, so now remind me, let's get to the situation about the Gunners. So since I last uploaded, which I think was about three months ago now, I would imagine. I have to say, they've uh, surprised me. They're doing very well this year. they be put in a lot of good work. Arteta's doing a good job. We're standing on top of the league table by five points, so you can't complain about that. We're playing some good football. Um, so, yeah, been very good. Then we had the World Cup break. Then we came back and we had putting some good performances together. And then we came up against Newcastle. And this is where I'm at to get a bit frustrated with the fan base. Since the Newcastle game, I've been... Just listen to lots of excuses, lads. Penalties and jerseys being pulled off people and Newcastle played with a low block and they knew what they were doing tactically, knew what they were doing by slowing the pace of uh, the Arsenal player down and stuff like that. That's I might have said it before and I'm going to keep saying this. No excuses with me. And that's all excuses. <clears throat> Arsenal went down against Newcastle. Yes, Newcastle played a low block. Uh, don't uh, store the game down all that kind of stuff if you want to be a title winning uh, team you have to come up with answers against your opposition no matter what way they play the game no matter what tactics they come to the come to the game with it's up to us it's up to Arteta it's up to us to break that team down and win the game for me to win the league title, you have to beat Newcastle in the Emirates Stadium. It's, I don't care what I want to say. People are saying, oh, Newcastle are tired and Newcastle are a good team. Yeah, they are a good team. This is the first time in 18 years, 19 years, that's for us to win the Premier League. It's our best chance we've had in years and years, almost two decades. And we go up against Newcastle and we can't break them down. Now, I know that JSO was just a huge loss up forward. And we're, we're relying on Eddie and Keitia. And how Arsenal Football Club is relying on Eddie and Keitia is just beyond me. He had a great opportunity to score in that game against Newcastle in the latter stages of that game, if you cast your memory back. And he hit the ball straight at the goalkeeper. Scuffed his shot against the goalkeeper. Lads are telling me, oh, it was a difficult a difficult situation. There was a defender on him and stuff like that. So I don't give a fuck about any of that. That was Terry Henry, Harry Kane. Haaland, Van Nisseroy, any of those top quality strikers, the Bobby in the back of the next. That's what winning league titles. So, after all the good work up to now, I hate to see it all fall apart. I hate to see the wheels coming off because it'd be non existent in this transfer window. We're 12 days into us. I can't understand how we haven't bought anyone yet. We are fighting for the Premier League. We need to straighten up our squad to become a title winning team. Because that is very evident that our squad is wafering. We're relying on the likes of Elneny, Inkitia, Holding, uh, What's his name? Uh, yeah, Les, Le, uh, Samba. We're relying on all these fellas, lads, and they're not good enough. Do you know what I mean? Just not good enough. 
Uh, so if anything happens to one of our main players, main stars, we're, we're fucked. We, we were looking for answers like. And I, I don't understand this. I just don't understand the mentality. I don't understand the mentality of Vidu, uh, Vinay, Arteta. Like, why not just say these are three targets, our lads? This is what I want. They, we're going to try to win the league. These are the players I want. I want to throw one or two players there off the top of my head. Trozard from Brighton. I think that feels an exceptional player. McAllister from Brighton. Another exceptional player. World Cup winner. Talk about Saha coming into his last six months of his of his contract of Crystal Palace. He's a proven Premier League player. Tillemans. Talk about Tillemans for the last two years. Why are we not going out and getting these players? To really challenge Man City to win the Premier League. I don't understand it. Yeah, lads are saying about this Modric fella from the Ukrainian League. He's after playing 42 games, 43 games. He's not proven. And we're talking about spending 100 million on him. Are you fucking kidding me? 100 million? People compare him to the new Neymar. I don't think so. <clears throat> this is what I'm not, this is what I'm talking about. It's, I don't want that shit. That's, that's the wrong mentality. I'm not saying that Modric will be a bad player or anything like that. I'm saying he's not proven. We're wanting to win the Premier League over the next few months. We need to push forward. And by spending 100 million on one player, it's not good enough. It's not the answer. We need to go out there and buy two or three quality proven play, Premier League players, in my opinion, to make our squad better and stronger. Vieira is another fella just came into my mind there. Not good enough. So, this is what we're up against, lads. Uh, Cedric is another player. Not good enough. So, we have to spend money this window. Don't fuck around. This is coming up to almost two decades without winning the Premier League. This is our best chance we've had in years. We're within this. But there's a lot of games to be played. We need to straighten up our squad for those games. Because the squad that we have is not fucking good enough. To push forward, to push over the line. <coughs> so far last this season, so good. But I don't want it to fucking crumble. And I just feel since the Newcastle game that there's something in the air that's not right. I feel 12 days into this transfer window, things are not right. There's something fucking telling me that this could all collapse. We have two massive games coming up, lads. We have Spurs on Sunday away. Oh, I'm being, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck over it. I'm thinking, I'm lying the bed thinking about it. And it's a game that I think we have to win. If we win that game, that's the confidence we get from that. It makes us more determined to keep moving forward. But if we get bit in that game, fuck me. It could be devastating. And we have Man United coming up after him. And them bastards always seem to do one over us. And they're not too far behind us. The nine points behind, I think it is at the moment. You imagine if they beat Man City there on Saturday and Ars to get beat there by Spurs and then United beat us then the following week. Now all of a sudden there's three points in the difference. You know what I mean? This is how close we are. So I don't know, lads. I don't know. I'm not confident about Sunday. I'm not confident at all about Sunday. I really feel Spurs would do one on us. I, I'm going, my prediction is 2 1 to Spurs. I hope I'm wrong. And if that is the case, lads, well, then the squeaky bum time. You know? And we have to get our heads over our ass and start buying fucking quality players. But if Arsenal can do it, lads, and beat Spurs and beat United. Jesus, lads, we're on for a great chance. Do you know that? Fucking great chance. 18 years waiting for this fucking shit. So they better not fuck it all up. For this to crumble. So, anyway, lads, listen. I'm back with a bang. I'm going to be doing a lot more uploads now. Uh, preview for games. 
uh, reviews after games, uh, news that's coming in about the club. So yeah, you're going to see a lot more of this ugly face of mine. Um, doing what I, do, what I love doing. And uh, I'm on different shows there too, lads. I was on Jay's Collins show last night there. Um, the Ar a History of Arsenal and more. Arsenal history and more, I should say. Uh, Warren's team talk. Big up to the two of them. Uh, Del Boy's channel. Uh, big up to Niall, the upper tier. Great channel, lads. Uh, check him out, upper tier. He's a Liverpool man. He actually has me on his channel tonight at 9pm. So looking forward to that. So yeah, so I'm being welcome onto a lot of uh, channels. Um, so it's all good. And I'll be doing some live, live streams myself. And uh, getting a few lads from England and all over. Arsenal fans from all over really to tune into my channel and have a chat with me about the Gunners and stuff like that. So lots, of, lots of things coming up, lads. But anyway, listen, I appreciate it. Uh, pre appreciate you all tuning in, and it's good to be back. And um, once again, that's why I apologise to the gentlemen and ladies of uh, the Arsenal fan base for not uploading. As I say, I'm back, back now to my best. So big up to you all and happy new year to you all. That's I hope 2023 will be good for us all and that we see the Gunners lift up the league title. It'd be, be great. It'd be amazing. So anyway, lads, I'm out of here.